This is Melinda Barlow, CZT, Certified Zen Tangle Teacher. And I am getting better. This laryngitis has, and cold has really taken me for a loop. And today's tangle is LaBelle. And I did teach it in class on Tuesday, even though I didn't post a video Tuesday. I did teach it in class with a very rough voice. I think it's a little bit better. And they loved it. LaBelle is by Sue Jacobs. And this is LaBelle. This is really LaBelle done just plain, and we have enhanced it. So I am going to show you how you can take LaBelle and just make it your own. So we'll move my notebook out of the way. And I'm going to work on a bookmark today because LaBelle is a very um, linear type tangle. Bring it back. You can see that it's a, a long tangle and can be done as a border or, I don't know, I loved it. I wasn't so sure at first, but because I couldn't draw it the way that Sue had it written out. Now, I don't know if she did it vertical or horizontal, but I found that I could do this much easier if I did one way horizontal and one way vertical. So we're going to start out vertical. And I'm just going to take one of my bookmarks. That you can Also, you can get these on my website now. They're available. Um, and we're going to start with, an, I call it an open six. So we don't want it to be closed all the way, so an open six. And then I'm going to come back on the back side of start another one where I come down and do it going the opposite direction. So first I've done a six going the correct way. Now it's going to go the opposite way. And I'm just going to work my way down the area I want to tangle going back and forth. So I have this open six, as I call it, going both directions. And you notice I drag my pen down that line to begin with. If I drag it down, I get less spots that are a start and stop. If you just start right here, you kind of get a little glob of ink. And when you bring it down and swirl around, you don't get that. So this step on Sue Jacobs' um, lapel, I do going vertically. Then I'm going to turn my bookmark, whatever I'm working on, my tile, I'm going to turn it so that it's going horizontally. And now I'm going to draw, look at this area where you have a little V. I'm going to make a little heart shape in that little V area. And I'm going to, then I'm going to come down here and do another one. And these can be any size you want. If you want them to be small, they could be small. If you wanted them to be a little larger, you can make them a little larger. Turn it around, and we come and we do it going this direction. When you look at Sue's step out, she's done just a little, couple of little bumps. But I found if I think that heart shape, I like the looks of it even better. And another thing you can do is instead of a heart shape, you can make a little leaf shape. You can see I just made this little leaf shape. And there we really have La Belle. But that is extremely plain. So in our goal this year in our my class is to learn about embellishing tangles. What can I add to this tangle to embellish it? So I looked at this tangle and I thought of the things that we've been working on so far this year. We've done lots of hearts. And so I just thought back of some of the hearts I'd filled in. And I thought I could come back in and do those little stripes 
So we just fill in. And you can go down your... your lapel and do that on each one or if you want to give it some different looks but then I'm going to come back here and fill it in so you understand what I'm talking about little scatterbrain of today I'm sorry I did that in class it must be when you cough and cough and cough and cough that part of your brain, brain gets shaken up in you don't think straight. So I'm just filling in. You notice I'm leaving that little bit of light. Now, here I have one, two, three stripes, and I don't like to leave that like that. So I'm going to go ahead and just draw one more out to the side so that I have it filled in all the way. I don't like to leave a, a plain one on the outside edge. So we'll do it again. Let's see how we turn out. I usually always start on the outside edge when I'm coloring in. And you can leave that little sparkle or you can, again, I need to add that little extra. I think it would look bad if I didn't add it. I don't think I would like it. So you can do little stripes. Or I've also, the, the kind of curve. Or I've also done where I just come up from the bottom. And they just fan out. I'm going to fill these in. In class, we had someone just fill it in with circles. So you can just fill in with circles. And I'm just going to show you a few more embellishing techniques that we do also come back to that six, and I'm going to just give it a little weight on the end of that circle. So just come back and give that a little bit more weight. Kind of a little teardrop shape or a dewdrop shape on the end of it. And you can see how that kind of helps the, the tangle where it's just plain, where you've given it a little bit of weight. You can come back in and add more little curly cues or that little six shape and backward six because now you've gotten a little better at it. Or you can just do what I call a little fescue on here. That helps. Come back and add circles up your stem. That is a great embellishment for this tangle. I also like to add just a little dot at the end. That one didn't go in. At the end of there, that's another little embellishment that you can do. I'm going to bring this one over that I was working on gray with. And uh, this is just a gray bookmark, a gray paper. And I love working on gray paper because it gives us another element that you can use. We can come back and I, I got out my jelly roll. But let me add it. Let's just add some progressively smaller circles going up the stem. And when you come back, you can come back and add a little bit of white 
on your jelly roll that adds a little sparkle. You can also come back in and instead of leaving those gray, you can fill this in in white. So that gives it that other dimension. So that's another way of embellishing. If I were working on brown paper, I make them back with my brown pen. But I love how you can change that very plain <clears throat> little tangle that Sue did. And I am sure she she made it plain on purpose. Because it's so much fun to have the artist embellish. And when you see a, a tangle that's plain, you can think, how can I embellish that to make that my own? And another um, way to embellish is also one of my favorites is bead line. That's a great little embellishment. Or... A little zinger can be a great embellishment on this particular tangle. This one just can go on and on. Here you see one that I've just done some um, little bit of embellishment. But I challenge you to take this tangle of Sue Jacobs Lavelle and embellish it in as many ways as you can think of. Then go to my Facebook um, page and post your results of what you did. It would be fun to see people's um, examples of their way of embellishing LaBelle. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and tangle on.